Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome to the closing video of Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I don't know if I really need to add the Let's Play part in there. But um, what we're going to quickly do is I'm going to quickly show off the two endings that you guys didn't see. It's going to be the Engineer ending followed by the Dino ending. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this started right now, and here it is. Uh, these are pretty much going to be the same as the previous ending. Um, you're not really m notice much difference. I mean, Teacher's still basically passed out. He's basically being a lazy jackass, and Zelda's still standing in the picture. Really, the only difference to the engineer ending is, as you're going to hear in a little bit, um, well, right now, like, here's her scribbling, because that's really what she does. Um, and by the way, this took, oh my god, this took forever. Like, I just could not do those, like, the, the, the first two Maladus parts. I just could not do them. So annoying. But as you can hear, um, the train whistle will be whatever train you end the game with. So because we have the golden train, we get the golden train whistle. And um, basically it's implying that Link's traveling by in his train. He apparently travels on his train now. Um, I personally like the warrior ending the best because Link's, you know, there, you know, living pretty much with Zelda in the castle. As opposed to just war roaming the world on his train. Even though I guess um, the whole game, you know, his passion was for engineering. So it would make more sense, I suppose, for him to end up an engineer at the end. But, uh, there's the end, and also you hear the, the whistle, so this ending is actually pretty cool, I think. Uh, definitely the warrior and the engineer ending are what they should be, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how those that ending goes. Uh, in just a little bit, we'll be switching to the Dino ending. This one's kind of, actually kind of depressing. Um, basically, in this one, as you're going to see, I'm starting right here, uh, nothing happens. Lizelle's going to look out the window, and nothing's going to happen, so basically Link's not an, a hero or an engineer, so basically, I suppose it's implied that he's living at home, just being a bum, with Nico. He's just living with Nico, being a bum, doing nothing with his life. He's gonna, years from now, his parents are gonna kick him out of the basement. He's gonna have to find a real job, selling groceries, selling fish, at Papa Papa Pachuria Village. Yeah, that, that's what's gonna happen. Link, you gotta stop sitting there smoking your your whatever the hell people would smoke in Hyrule. I don't know. When did this become in inappropriate? Um, but as you can see, it's almost kind of a depressing ending because just, there's just nothing there. So it looks out the window and there's nothing there. So basically, kids, know what you want to do in life. Don't pick the Dino ending or I will Dino your face in. But um, that's it for the Spare Tracks, guys. There's not really much else to show off. I could show off the multiplayer parts, I suppose. Um, well, I can't show off the multiplayer. I could have explained it. Um, actually, I'm not even sure how exactly it works because I never had the chance to try it out. Um... And at this point, I don't I ever expect to get a chance to try it. I'm pretty sure it's basically like a Link versus Phantom thing. Like one person controls a Phantom, the other person controls Link, and you basically fight each other in, in like a Tower of Spirits-esque area. Or that might be how Phantom Hourglass's multiplayer worked. But basically, it's not really anything too special. It's just a little gimmick. Um, so it's not really worth showing off. So at this point, really, um, that's all she wrote. Uh, Spear Tracks is now complete. I got all the endings, as big of a pain in the ass as that was, so all that's left to do is the failure montage, which I suppose we should go ahead and get to. So, failure number five, Sand Troubles. Basically, you know, if she falls during any of these sections, you need to go all the way back to the beginning as well. Because, um, you know, either she'll spawn there, or even if she doesn't spawn there, you know, if, you, if you've made, like, you know, to that first platform, um, you'll have to... No, no, no! God damn it, no! Oh, I hate this section so much. Failure number four, fire and ice. All right, let's try this again. Fire, no, nope, that's not gonna be enough. Crap, crap, I can just not fail this. Oh, I am, oh God, no. Oh, that was, that was a bad combination. <laughs> Failure number three, warp phantom shenanigans. Let me make my way over here. There's a switch pair over here. Just gonna... Oh my God, what, wow. Did it really not see me? Did it really? It freaking warped in on top of. Holy crap! Just, just, holy crap! I'm just gonna go ahead and let him see me. Oh crap, the thing's on me again. Um, well, let's make a break for it. We're gonna make a break for it. Whip, away, whip our way across, because you know, that'll be fine. And, oh crap! Well, apparently the thing can stall you while you're whipping. Run! 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 Ugh. Gosh darn it. Failure number two. Oh god, the bees! Anyway, you can double tap to roll, and now I'm being stung by bees. Oh my god, bees, they're everywhere! I hate bees. I actually really hate bees in real life. Um, they're really, really annoying. So I'm gonna run around, uh, you can, you can go in the water if you wanna take some damage to get rid of them. Obviously they do hurt you, so just keep away from them. And I accidentally triggered the cutscene, and these bees are swarming around me. I'm being stung to death, but Link's just gonna stand there because it's a cutscene. And when you're in a cutscene, you just stand there and take things, so... <laughs> 
kind of an unintentional little glitch, random, odd thing here, but this guy's gonna bring on a train. We're still being stung by bees. You can see the bees in the cutscene there. Kind of oh god, I'm being swarmed. I just suddenly got started out there. Okay, bees are gone. One swordsman scrolled uh, two adults you do is the great spin attack. You do three spin attacks in a row, which is really hard for me to pull up my recording setup. But you, get, you just go freaking berserk away. I hit the bees. Oh shit, I hit the bees. I hit the bees. I hit the bees. Bees. What, 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 what is with the bees about a village? Just, just, they're always here. Every time they're always here. Just, just get out of my life, bees. You guys are really annoying. We were there in the first episode. It happened again, and now it's happened a third time. And failure number one. Game over. Yeah. Anyway, I noticed that I'm going down that path. Really, a big mistake going down that path. Uh, I really should have planned that out better. Because now I'm kind of cornered between two trains. I can't outrun them, especially not when I'm backing up. Because you're slower when you're backing up. So I tried to basically get on this path. What I should have done, I should have gone on the other path. Because, because, because I don't make it. If I went on the other path, I could have just stayed there and, be, and was safe. But I didn't really plan it out very well. And before any of, any of you guys comment... I know that there's also a second B section. I just chose to show off the two of them for the fact that, you know, I already spent like over a whole minute on that one failure, which is not really what I intend to do. It's supposed to be a montage, not a whole thing. Um, so I showed off the two, the first one, the last one, just because, you know, it was the first episode. I actually got a fail in the first episode. I gotta be happy with that. But that's it for Spirit Tracks, guys. Like I said before, um, it's a very interesting experiment about how to uh, do stylus controlled games, and all in all, it was satisfactory. So. Um, I'm certainly not going to shy away from those in the future. I actually have a few in mind that use mostly the stylus that uh, should be able to work out now that I, feel like I have a good handle on using it. And of course, it's just going to come in handy for uh, later games. Uh, one of the next LPs in particular I know is going to also be a bit stylus-intensive, not really to this extent, not even close to this extent, but um, it'll be a handy skill to have, I suppose. So um, given that, that was a, um, this LP has been a great success, given the fact that it's a great game, and I, th I think I did the game justice with my LP, so basically I'm happy if things out the way it turns out. And based on you guys' responses, you know, you guys seem pretty happy as well. Um, the whole speed up commentary thing, also something I'll keep in mind for the future, but I don't expect it to be used as often as it was in here. Um, it really depends on the style of game. Some are a lot better just cutting, others are better, you know, speed around. Really, the whole train travel thing, the whole speed up thing was kind of necessary. Um, but I'm not sure how much I want to use it in the future. That's going to be just, you know, up in the air, I suppose. Uh, but it was an interesting experiment to try that out as well. Thank you guys who uh, suggested to do that. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nicely as well. So, uh, that's another thing about this LP, I suppose, that I'm taking from it. Um, all in all, looking at the future, um, well, I have another great game lined up. I'm actually really excited for it. I started recording it already, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I know a few people have actually requested this game. So those people in particular should like this. Um, the way it works for requested games is, I mean, I'll listen to your requests, I'll consider them, but really, for the most part, my LP lineup is pretty much chosen. So if, you know, your your LP happens to be on there, lucky you. If it doesn't, well, maybe in the future, because, you know, I don't have things planned out too far ahead. But, you know, I try to keep, like, you know, three or four different LPs in mind for future ones. You know, after, you know say, two on each side, because I want to try to keep up this two. You know, even once, you know, jo other jobs get in the way, I'm going to try, even if I'm not able to upload as often, I'm going to try to still keep up two LPs just because I like having two different options for you guys to view. If you guys don't like one option, you can always go to the other one. Um, at some point, I should do one of those quickie uh, third LP things. I have ideas for those that I might want to try out. So um, that's the basics for this kind of stuff. Um... Uh, as always, check out uh, the TMG channel, the Midway Gate. It's our co-op channel that I'm a part of. We're doing Donkey Kong Country 3 now. Uh, live commentary co-op. I think it's pretty hilarious. It's pretty much like a complete failure non-professional LP um, because I kind of just tend to be a bit more loose and casual there. So if you want to see Casual Lucky, go over there because it's pretty cool. And uh, we would, of course, certainly love to see you know, the amount of awesome people who I have on this channel over there as well because, well, you guys are awesome. I really do love all the comments I've been getting lately. It's just a lot of, like, influx of positive energy from you guys, and it really has been pretty awesome. I've probably been talking for way too long right now. Um, Not really much else to say for Spirit Tracks. Uh, basically, things are going to be going well, and uh, there's going to be other great P LPs to come in the future. So, uh, this is lucky 70 x signing out. Thanks again, guys, for watching this LP. Um, in terms of, well, actually, you know, before I met, I'd go, 
Um, in terms of other Zeldas, I will do more in the future. There will be more Zeldas, because I'm a huge Zelda fanboy. Um, Phantom Hourglass, in particular, I know people have asked about. I don't know when I'll do that, nor will I promise that I will do that, but I will also say it's Considering I'm, you know, my niche is sort of DS LPs at this point, I would consider it likely that at some point I will pick it up and play it, but it's not on the plan for now. In fact, I have other ideas for other Zeldas I might want to do before that one, uh, but we'll have to see how I feel when I get back into another Zelda mood. For now, we're going to put Zelda to rest, let other franchises take over, and I'll be well. So uh, I feel like I, yeah, cover that point. All as well. So uh, this is Lucky70x signing out again. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys later for more LPs. Stay tuned for more coolness and stuff. What the hell is ending? Just, just I'm just gonna go now. Goodbye.